Quédame contigo hasta las nubes Okay, now Samsung Calendar is a very advanced calendar application on Galaxy phones and I'm sure there are so many features which you would not have explored. So in this video, let's check them out. First one is weather forecast on the calendar app. Did you know that Samsung Calendar can show weather forecast for each day for the next 7 days? Let me show you how to enable that. Let's tap on this hamburger menu. Let's tap on settings. Here under optional information, we have a toggle or switch, show weather forecast. Now let's go back to month view and just pull this to expand it. As you can see, from today I have got the weather forecast for the next 7 days. It just shows the icons indicating the precipitation, cloudy or sunny day. And here you can see we have got the temperature mentioned for today and the current date. That is the first one. Now before we move on to the next one, it would be really great if you could pause the video and smash the subscribe and like button. That encourages me to come up with some cool contents for you guys. Now let's look at the second one. When we open the calendar app, on this month view, we have all these events indicated in different colors on each date. Now this color coding includes your reminders as well. If you don't want the reminders to be shown on this page, you can get rid of them to make your calendar look clean with only your event indicators. To do that, just tap on this hamburger menu, scroll all the way down to see app events. Here we have an option, you can just uncheck this reminder and that's it. All those reminders are gone from your month view. But if you prefer to have reminders, of course you can leave it as it is. Next one is setting the week numbers on the left hand side of the calendar in month view. Yes, we can have week numbers here. Let's go to the menu. Tap on settings. Under optional information, we have show week numbers. Just enable this switch to have week numbers on the month view of the calendar. Moving on to the next one. This is about drawing or writing on the calendar's month view using the Yes Pen. As you can see, when I swipe and expand the calendar in the month view, we get an icon on the top right corner. This is for drawing or writing using the Yes Pen. When you minimize the calendar, this icon disappears. So just expand it, take out your Yes Pen and you can draw or write on this calendar. You can even zoom into the calendar and edit it using your Yes Pen. After this, whatever you have written or drawn on the month view will remain as it is. It will be saved and it will be shown whenever you scroll through this particular month. Now what if you don't want that handwriting to be seen on the month view? All you need to do is just go to the menu. Below the month view, we have an option show handwriting. Just uncheck this. Now on the month view, you will not see whatever you have written or drawn using your Yes Pen. That is just fantastic. Next one is setting a particular color for each event indicator while creating the event. What I mean is whenever you create an event, you can set a particular color code for that. Let's tap on this plus icon to create an event. On the top right, you can see we have this color option here. Just tap on this. It shows 12 different colors from which we can choose. Once you create it, that event will appear in that particular color code that you just set. That is cool. Now, if you are someone who prefer to see bigger font on the month view of your calendar application, you can increase it or decrease it depending on your preferences. Go to the menu. Go to settings, we have event title font size, just tap on this. You can select whichever you want here, we have extra small, small, medium, large, extra large. So if you want extra large, just select this and this is how the month view will appear. Next one is setting the default alert style. Let's tap on the menu, let's go to settings. Under alerts, we have this option alert style. Let's tap on this, we have three different options here. First one is light, it only shows the notification with short sound. Then we have medium, full screen alert with short sound. While using your phone, you will get a pop-up instead. You can also select the short sound over here. And then we have got strong. If you are someone who miss out on your short or light reminder notification, then you can set this strong. It shows a full screen alert with long sound. While using your phone, you will get a pop-up instead. So this will also show you a pop-up while using your phone. Now let's go to menu. Let's tap on settings. Here, let me tap on manage calendars. Under Samsung account, you can see we have got an option here, create shared calendar. 
As the name suggests, we can create an event or a calendar and share with another contact. Let's say one of your family member's birthday is coming up soon and you want to remind everybody in the family, then you can create a shared reminder and share it with your family members by adding their contact on this. If they have a Samsung account by the same contact, their calendar will sync up with the event that you have created. You can add as many as 99 contacts and share your calendar with them. That is a brilliant feature that we have on Samsung phones. The next one is again regarding the Yes Pen. This is basically not the integrated calendar feature. This is One UI 4.1 feature which can be used inside the calendar as well. Let me show you that. Let's take out the S Pen. I'll tap on Add Event. As you can see, instead of typing, I can actually write using the S Pen and add an event. If you are someone who uses S Pen a lot, then this feature will come in handy while adding an event on the calendar application. We have come to the last tip. This is again not an integrated calendar feature. This is a tip for you to use the calendar widget in a better way. Now that we have One UI 4.1, we have got an all new feature called Smart Widgets, which enables us to add multiple widgets on one single widget on the home screen. As you can see, I have got the month view of the calendar widget here. And when I swipe, I can see all the event from the calendar here. To set this up, just press and hold the home screen, tap on widgets, tap on smart widget. Scroll down, you will see the smart widget 4x2. Just select this, add it on the home screen. Now let me press and hold on this widget. You can see we have an all new option now, add widget to smart widget. I'll tap on this. Here again, I'll tap on calendar and add this events widget to the same widget. As you can see now, we have got month view as well as events here. Of course, even on the month view, we do have the events on the right hand side, but it is not as pronounced as the dedicated events widget. Now on this smart widget, you can get rid of the rest of the widget, keeping only the calendar and the events widget. Let me show you how we can do that. I will swipe to see the other widgets apart from the calendar widgets. As you see, we have weather widget, just press and hold on this. I'll tap on remove from smart widget. Now the weather widget is gone. We will be left with the calendar widgets here. That is the last tip I wanted to share in this video. I hope you like all these tips regarding the calendar application. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button to become a part of Apex community. That's all I want to share here. Thanks a lot for watching you guys. Take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.